haven't done a video in a long time. So my uh, my iMovie is taking a shit. <gasps> so I can't. Can't edit my videos anymore. Man, some some awesome life changing stuff has happened. Smoking on that chronic, smoking on that chronic, smoking on that chronic. I'm really delving into um, fixing my self. Um, started seeing a therapist and. She's very spiritual, and <clears throat> me and Nicole are very much into, you know, quieting the mind and Buddhism and, you know, no attachments, blah, blah, blah. Man, do you know how much calmer you are when you don't feel attached to shit? It's amazing. No fear of things going away. Can't take it with you when you die. But, uh... <coughs> I'm reading this <coughs> book right now that tells you I'm just, <coughs> I'm sick. I'm getting over a cold. I probably should not be smoking this. <coughs> but it's basically saying that you are the quiet, harmonious little center and what's not yourself is the little voice that's chatting in your head all the time. What do you mean chatting in your head? There's no he voice chatting in your head. Well, it just happened. That little voice, that little thought. And there's, sorry, talking about your emotions and, um, How it's not truly you because if that's just what happened to you, that's like what your environment and your surroundings did to you is created this voice which causes a bunch of drama because all the shit that's happened in your life, you're very like defensive or reactive or whatever, you know. So it teaches you not to listen to that voice anymore. You're like, think about that voice in your brain as a friend, like just this person sitting outside of you. And they're like, why do you think your voice is always right? How many times has it led you down the wrong path? You know, why do we always listen to it? So they say, imagine it like a, a friend sitting next to you. And if you would listen to them or ignore them or tell them to shut up or whatever. You become the observer. And they also teach you how to, like, just live in the moment. And uh, it's really cool. I never really realized how detrimental, like, watching TV and being on the phone was. I mean, I knew to a degree that it was separating us and we were isolating, but there was a lot of shit that I was missing out on. When you really observe and you're not, say if you take a walk, a walk out into nature, you're thinking, that's a tree, I like that tree, that tree reminds me of something in my past, blah, blah, blah. Ignore that. Just be very present. Just be like, tree, flowers. Blah, blah, blah. I'm starting to notice so much more shit. Like, I'm discovering new stuff. It's crazy. Things every day. Like, this water bottle I've had for, like, ever. I was just sitting there meditating. And then I'm like, mm, I'm thirsty. So I grab my cup. And I notice that there's, like, measurements inside, on the side of a cap. And I'm like, where the hell did this come from? But it's just random stuff like that. Nicole's been doing it. And she's like... You know, I saw a ladybug. I saw all these ladybugs on this plant. She's like, but if I was on my phone or not really, it was any other day where I wasn't aware or being present or whatever, totally would have passed them by. And It's just nuts. I've started, like, a daily routine for myself. And I have, like, issues with, like, 
I can't, I don't even take out my contacts. I will, my contacts, like, melt onto my eyeballs. I'm so fucking lazy. I'm just like, no, I'm, I'm never going to take them out. <laughs> so they're just cruddy. I can't see out of them. I'm just, everything's usually just blurry and horrible. <clears throat> but I'm taking them out nightly now. I'm brushing my teeth twice a fucking day. Who does that? <laughs> and flossing. I floss in the morning. Who the fuck flosses? It's, it's just crazy. How... You know, just really ignoring the voice in your head that says, mm, I'm tired, mm, I'm lazy, you know, just ignore that. Just do it. All it is is a voice in your head. It's not literally restricting you. roll out of bed half an hour until work barely make it out the door usually about 20 minutes late every day I made myself get up earlier and I chill and I make myself breakfast every morning get ready I set my clothes out the night before, I make sure everything is charging, my external speakers, I have a smartphone watch, I make sure that's all charging, but god damn, it feels good to be on it. Like, I'm so ADHD and I've never been organized, I've never been clean, I've never been able to make myself do anything on a daily basis, and suddenly I have the will to because I'm not listening to the voice in my head, it's just... Ugh, it's fucking amazing, man. And now we're house hunting. Uh, we got pre-approved, so we're looking for houses. And, uh, we see one of our dream homes. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's just a gigantic yard, and, uh, the house isn't that big, but we don't need a lot of space, so we're not worried about that, and, I don't know, it's just good, I like it, I'm excited, I'm really excited to have a house, we have all these life plans, you know, Nicole's a condom, condom, <laughs> Nicole's a condom, Nicole owns a condo downtown, she runs out. And then we're going to get this house. And we're going to hunker down for a while. <coughs> and then we're going to buy a condo under my name. <coughs> and then spiffy that up and rent it out to people. And we're just going to have a lot of good extra income. And that's going to be our retirement plan. You know, just sell the condos, or not, or whatever. But it's great. I'm really excited for life. Everything's, you know, finally coming together now that I'm just, like, letting shit go, and nothing's bothering me. I mean, like, a lot of people say that life changes when you meet the one, but... I feel, I totally feel like that's what's going on, but I also feel like I was going into life transformation already right before I met Nicole. So I feel like I was on the path and she just helped accelerate it. But yeah, I miss you YouTubers. I miss making funny videos. Um, after we get this house, I'm just buying a bunch of equipment and I'm just going to make tons of videos, so... That's the next phase. I'll probably talk to you then.